diving into my morning coffee. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Um, I am going to bring you guys along. We have friends coming for dinner, so I'm going to go do some grocery shopping. We're just basically going to do like a day in the life. And yeah, I'm super excited to make the house all Christmassy tonight and smell really Christmassy for like our friends that are coming over but um anyway i just want to eat my chocolate and i'm just taking the morning really slow today because i um what day did i say it was day six i have i had a really busy day yesterday and i just need to take things a little bit slower today i think you learn to kind of just listen to your body and you're pregnant and that is all my body's time and all i want is my chocolate <laughs> like... but yeah oh not another boost are you kidding not happy it's really not my vibe this one but it's fine yum still who cares chocolate for breakfast it's a yes from me Welcome to Vlogmas day six. We have so much to get done today. Um, I have all this little baby hair coming through. Um, just wanted to acknowledge it, so it's out of the way. Um, but yeah, Vlogmas day six, so excited. So today we have so much to do. I'm gonna write a to-do list and you guys can just be with me while I do that <laughs> and pray for me to get these things done. Um, so, and then we'll tackle it. We're going to go out shopping. We've got people coming for dinner, so we need to prep for that. I need to do my chores. I have a PT session. We need to go and drop off the Christmas cards at the post office because I was meant to do that yesterday, but people hadn't sent me their address, address, uh, addresses. So, we're going to write a to-do list. And then we're going to tackle it. Um, maybe on a timeline or something like that. And then we're just going to enjoy Vlogmas Day 6. This little bubba has made me feel nauseous this morning with my bowl of oats. I feel like I need a dry biscuit with some tuna on it or something. Like something substantial. So, which oats usually are, but that's just not what is sitting right with me today. So, I'm going to have another little snack while we... Um, run out to do list and then we're gonna jump into the day I'll go and get pt done um my legs are so sore from my session yesterday which you guys would have heard me say like i did a really good leg session yesterday in the gym which is yeah it's so funny because like being pregnant um <laughs> a really good leg session is like not what it usually would be but definitely very proud of me and Bob for getting in there and getting it done. So that was exciting, but let's jump into today. Okay, as you can see here, I'm just writing out my to-do list for Tuesday, which is today. Um, I love doing lists because it just makes me feel more accomplished as I tick things off and pushes me to get the next thing done. And I realize that the task isn't always necessarily as hard as I I'm anticipating it to be but as you can see here I just have upload schoolwork um, they're just a couple of videos for Michael complete the chores so the washing bedroom study kitchen bins and what are the plans I have a PT session at 12 that I need to go to and I need to do the shopping as well I've already uploaded Michael's schoolwork so of course I'm going to tick that off as like a little thing that's already done now I'm just writing a shopping list um, to take with me up the street so that I'm nice and prepared now finished some chores i've uploaded the schoolwork for michael what are the plans um had pt done the shopping and put the bins out the kitchen is basically done and the washing is basically done but i'll take these off once everything is put away and then i will just do the bedrooms and the studies and then chores will be complete just on my way to the gym i have completed 
some chores before and then I'll complete some when I get back. Gonna go do the shopping, drop off the Christmas cards as well. I bought a banana as a post workout snack because obviously I'm not coming straight home. Got my big water bottle ready to go. So we're gonna go now and yeah, do that. And it should be quite a fun afternoon. So much to do, but I'm excited by it. I'm excited to be productive. I don't want to sit around and do nothing. So let's get going. I'm finally posting my Christmas cards. Um, I thought that these stamps were really, really cute. They were just from the local post office. So finally that is done. I am now at home and I'm just showing you the things that I bought. So I just got this mixed bag of lollies to pop out on the table in this round clear bowl just for our guests to like snack at. I really enjoy putting out snacks and making sure people just feel really welcome and really well fed when they're here. So that is what I'm doing. And let me know what kind of things you guys put out. Um, sometimes I feel like this is the best little thing to put out because everyone loves chocolate and everyone loves little snack sized chocolates. But yeah, I'm just like not sure what to put out sometimes um and now I'm just moving on to um seasoning our lamb cutlets so I just do salt pepper lemon juice and some herbs and then I just pop it in the fridge and wait for it to go onto the barbecue we also um bought some other meat to put on the barbecue as well and I'm gonna make a couple of salads for dinner um I got this goat's cheese to put in one of the salads and I also got this eggplant dip and um, the capsicum dip from Yummies. They're really, really good. And I'm just going to have those with some bread. And I got some beef sausages from the butcher as well. This is the bread that I'm going to put out. It's just like a tiger baguette, um, which is really yum. And then we got some honey soy chicken ribs as well. Michael loves these, so he was like, please like, get them so it's literally my favorite part of this whole entire video is i have done the bedrooms i have done the study i have done the kitchen and i've completed my chores so i now i'm going to move on to prepping everything for dinner okay so i'm just going to start out with making the salads for tonight and chopping up the bread so i'm just going to put the bread in this bowl here and then um is Caesar salad in here and then just a Greek salad in that one. Um, so I just have a Caesar salad kit. I bought this at the start of the week. I'm just going to throw it together. Um, and then I'm just going to make a like kind of a Greek salad. I don't know, just um, a red onion, some cucumber, some goat's cheese, um, a tomato and an avocado. And I think that will be a really nice fresh salad as well. So I'm going to jump into just throwing these together. And then I'm also going to cut up the bread. The, these are the chocolates that I prepared earlier for tonight. Just to pop out for dessert. Um, I'm going to make a pudding as well. But um, I'll slice this bread up as well while I am over here doing things. The meal will be pretty much prepared. I'm going to quickly wash the cucumber and the tomato um, and this bag of lettuce is already pre-washed so I might just quickly rinse it before I pop it into the bowl just to make sure I get any leftover residue off. So let's jump into it.
The one thing I really love about salads is all the variations you can do on them and they always come out tasting delicious. Um, this was just like a throw together Greek style salad and it came out so, so yummy. I was so happy with it. And yeah, I just topped it with avocado and the goat's cheese, which was so delicious. And then I just did the Caesar salad as well. But like, how good is just salad and barbecued meat, guys? I feel like it is the easiest thing to make. And yeah, it's just so um, simple in summer. I just love turning on the barbecue, throwing together a salad and dinner is done and served in no time. Okay, so jumping into the next recipe, I'm going to make chocolate pudding. So you're going to need milk, 50 grams of butter, an egg, some baking powder, some cocoa powder, some brown sugar, some caster sugar, and some plain flour. Um, you can use self-raising flour for this instead of the baking soda as well, and just some vanilla ice cream. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you those ingredients because I'm going to make the pudding with them and I will um, link the recipe in the description box below for you guys to check it out. It was so delicious, so easy to make by myself and um, yeah, everyone really enjoyed it. So I highly recommend um, making your own pudding if that's something that you enjoy doing. It was so delicious and the recipe was super easy to follow. So I'll insert the footage into this video and I'll also 
um, pop the recipe in the description box below for you guys. I am just absolutely loving cooking at the moment. I love making everything homemade and from scratch and not getting takeaway because we are doing that challenge where we're not buying takeaway. We have slipped up a couple of times, but it's in situations where like we, it was inevitable. Like we tried to be prepared, but then we just got hungry. And um, one of those was at a carols event and it was like well we're not gonna leave the event to go to a supermarket to buy food to come back so that's kind of the extreme we were going to but um yeah we're obviously not going to go out of our way to buy takeaway or anything like that we're just trying to make everything at home everything fresh everything with ingredients that we can buy from the supermarket rather than going out and yeah like I said like spending pointless money on food that you don't even know what's in it um yeah I just really enjoyed cooking at home and I could literally ramble about this all day I'm not going to but um the other thing is trying to make healthy options I usually wouldn't cook pudding or cookies or anything like that unless I'm having guests over Michael and I tend to stick to a really well-structured diet especially Michael because he is competing in bodybuilding so he really nourishes his body every day. I mean, as do I, but like he yeah, has a very strict plan that he sticks to. And when we have guests over, he won't really opt for these options. He will have the barbecue meat and the salad because he's allowed that in his plan. But as far as the pudding goes, like he technically shouldn't be having any of it. So for me to cook it in the house is actually a little bit unfair, but it's for the guests and you know, we love to look after people and make them feel welcome when they come to our home. So that's the main thing.
dinner is all set up and ready for our guests. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed filming this video, Vlogmas Day 5. We're now on to Vlogmas Day 6 when I'm uploading this, so, so exciting. Um, not every single video is going to be this long or this in-depth, but um, I really had fun filming this. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really, really supports us in bringing you this content. Um, but yeah, we just had the best time making this and the food was so yum. This pudding was so incredible. Um, I'm just about to pop it into the oven in this clip here. So you just literally um, put your cocoa powder and brown sugar over the top and then pour boiling water on and bake it in the oven for 40 minutes. And oh my goodness, it comes out so gooey and chewy. It's so, so good. Highly recommend. I will pop the... Um, recipe in the description box below but otherwise thank you guys so so much for being here and for watching and i really hope you enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more videos like this please like and subscribe and comment below for more and i hope that you enjoy vlogmas day bye bye guys